Hello everyone and welcome on in to episode 91 of our top 5 PvP battle series. If you guys want to send in your own clips for the top 5, you can send them to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. And starting us off today, we have got Lavalli. If you guys have seen clips from Lavalli in the past, you know that he loves to play bomb builds. And this is something that I personally have never in my life seen in this game. And yeah, Lavalli's gonna show us what's up. Throwing down those AoE dot fields just inconspicuously on this group. Initially when he attacked them, they all spread out right away. But now they're like, no, we can just sit in his dots. It's fine. Lavalli just has them tick away there. And he's just looking for one target. There you see right away, one explosion goes off. The second vicious death explosion. And I have never seen a hybrid necromancer dot bomb like that before. Lavalli actually sent me a couple clips of this thing in action. And uh, here you could see a bunch of enemy players just fighting each other. And I think I figured out the plan for this build. He just throws down a bunch of distance dots, tries to put on as much AoE pressure as possible. And if one opponent goes down to Lavalli's attacks, the chain reaction of Vicious Death goes off and so many players drop. Really cool stuff. Now up next, I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, but we have Ictonos Bellator on the Stamina Sork, right away feeding a huge Dawnbreaker to this red group that has charged him up the staircase here. And Ictonos just does some really good kite movement coming back over the group and back towards the body that he did bring down with that Dawny. And he's running a nasty burst build. Look how he goes for the uh, crystal weapon into a huge heavy attack and then his uh, execute with the Whirling Blades as well. And another red player going down and Ictonos just being very, very mobile here, looking for just any weak target that he can to feed those crystal weapons. Gets a good bash as he comes back over the body, catches this guy with a huge crystal weapon combo, and then just goes around the corner to finish him with the Whirling Blades. This enemy Templar goes for the res. Ictonos did go for the uh, bash there. Unfortunately, there's a bug in the game right now where you can just res someone without getting interrupted if you have, I think it's a potion CC immunity. But Ictonos is not going to let that uh, deter him. He just gets right on top of the player that's res there, feeding him a huge combo again with that heavy attack crystal weapon into the Whirling Blades. And he just resets the combo here, throws a stun down on the Templar. The Dawnbreaker into the uh, heavy attack. The Templar dodges it there, and he's got a ton of hit points. So Ictonos right away going to look for a new target. Connects with a huge combo on top of that player there, finishing him off with the Whirling Blades. Uh, crystal weapon combo again and then he gets a stun here on this guy into the whirling blade crystal weapon and the last player here decides he's gonna run away and Ictonos actually has a link to his build down in the description below if you guys want to check that out up next we have aggro on the stamina templar and he's hanging out in it looks like cracked wood cave here and a bunch of blue players come charging in and Agro just uh, quickly finishes off the first blue player there, and he jumps into the rest of the group, dropping a Dawnbreaker on the back of the group, getting huge damage into them. One player goes down, and Agro just keeps feeding them the jabs, bringing the second player down there too. A little bit of a kite back behind there, resetting the buffs, and uh, managing to get this one blue player just off by himself. They throw down the negate on top of the bodies, the panic AoE heal from these blue as well, and Agro just caught them completely off guard here. A big stun with the javelin there, in into the Dawnbreaker and the jabs. This enemy player doesn't have the stam or just didn't CC break it. And just three blue players left. Aggro just feeding these guys the jabs as they, uh, it looks like they're trying to pick up their dead bodies. He's just getting in there, trying to bash them. Finally gets the bash on that guy. And another huge heal uh, coming out of these Templars. They're just spamming that AoE heal. And Aggro's just going to wait for his opportunity to get a good burst. There's the stun from the Javelin into the jabs. And he catches them in between heals there. The, the one Templar going down. He gets the bash again on uh, this player trying to pick everybody up. Then he heads back towards this other Templar just giving him a little bit of the jab treatment. This guy just uh, lays down and dies for aggro. <laughs> He's given up already. The other player here tried to run away. Aggro's friend just uh, watches. He's like, no, you got this, man. You can take him. So aggro's just going to feed this last warden here the jabs to bring him down. And there's the executioner. Nice stuff. Now, up next, we have Go to Sleep on the Stamina Nightblade, and uh, he's hanging out in this keep here. I just arrived, actually, to the defense of it, as Red is just about to flip it. Go to Sleep getting huge damage into this guy here, but he pops into his healing, 
and uh, Go decides to not stick around and just check out the rest of this keep. He finds the guy with the scroll here. He's got just 60k hit points, no big deal. Go to Sleep's just going to reset his buffs here, go back into stealth, and set a fresh shade around. The red player's starting to chase him around here. That uh, Sork is back for revenge as well, and Go to Sleep with a really nice sidestep. Jumping actually on top of this player who's just a little lower on health, quickly catching a huge combo there. Really nice cancel into that uh, execute to finish him. And go to sleep again. Great direction change just to kite these guys out. This uh, enemy warden trying to get the res on the player that he killed here. Go to sleep just putting big damage into him. But the warden responds with his heals. He's not safe though. Go to sleep gets into stealth. Hits him with a big combo out of stealth. Just continuing to set him off balance. Um, and uh, trying to finish this guy off. Unfortunately another red player showing up to seal the deal on that res. And Go to Sleep is in a little bit of a tricky position. A lot of AoE down on him here. He goes for the shuffle to break the uh, the snare. And he's got the shade down as well. And he takes a lot of damage here. Really dangerous stuff. Just shading just outside of the AoE into stealth. Really, uh, really good positioning to have that shade. And he just sets a new one down. Poison injection on this next target. And I love his target selection here. He's not sticking around and dealing with the players that are actively looking for him. Instead, he goes to a different spot and picks down a player who is not ready for it. Managing to get the kill. That enemy Dragonite actually putting up quite a bit of fight. And uh, Go to Sleep just squeezes out again with that shade. Really great positioning and gameplay and he's going to come back into stealth, catching another player lower health. Just these red players have got to pay a little bit more attention. They're getting caught super off guard here. Go to sleep, taking another one down. Um, two more friendly players coming in to try to help this. And uh, go to sleep sets down a new shade, just ignoring that enemy warden who has that uh, incredible amount of hit points. And um, unfortunately, it looks like they killed the reinforcements right away. So Go to Sleep again is alone in here. He puts some big damage into that Warden. Huge stun off his ultimate there. And a really good shade again. I love how he's jumping in the air, going into his block and shading away. Just uh, making himself very elusive and lots of extra movement um, as he shades. Just to kind of throw the opponents off. And he comes up the staircase here, eating the Dawnbreaker, unfortunately, from that enemy player. He tries to respond with some big attacks of his own. A huge Spectral Arrow comes through there, hitting him with the Surprise Attack and then the Executioner. And he caught that guy with his guard down for sure. And then he gets a good bash as this player attempts the res right away. No, 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 that's never what you want to do with a Nightblade beating on you. And uh, the enemy warden going for a lot of healing power. Go to sleep, unable to kind of stick this combo out. He's just going to reset his buffs real quick, throw a fresh shade down too. And then he's going to open back up on this Warden. The enemy Warden hitting him with that Dawnbreaker. I don't know. That didn't look like it connected. But Go to Sleep did take the damage from it. And he manages to finish the Warden off though. And uh, just very low on stamina. The Potion coming up. And he's going to stay aggressive here. Goes right away for the gank on the player on uh, the flag there. Finishing him quite quickly. And he moves on to his next target, getting uh, a Poison Injection down. The enemy Dragon Knight does a great job holding block while Go to Sleep is in stealth. So he predicts the incoming combo and gets off pretty scot-free there. But this enemy player that just got rezzed needed to have drank a potion and at least held block there or healed himself. Go to Sleep just quickly uh, putting that guy down again. And now comes another player holding a scroll here. There's two players with scrolls. Oh my gosh. And Go to Sleep tries to stop the res again. Unfortunately, this time the guards respawn as he tries to make his getaway. And uh, he still had his shade there. He's just a little bit out of range. And the red players have respawned or picked up their dead players here. And there's more red players that are coming in just because this has flipped too. And uh, Go to Sleep is just going to be a little patient. He sees this guy going for the res. One poison injection. Oh my lord, that guy was really squishy. And uh, well, he actually manages to get into stealth. Go to Sleep goes for the stealth detect, but uh, doesn't get the pop on the enemy Nightblade. There we see he opens on the player that comes around the corner, goes into his defensive ultimate, taking a lot of pressure from these guys here, sets a fresh shade down as he jumps off the top there. And the uh, enemy Meteor coming in, Go to Sleep's just like, nope, I'm going to stay aggressive. I think he wanted to go for that shade at the end of the Meteor, but he's caught with a lot of damage. Nonetheless, a fantastic fight. Now, moving on to our last clip of the day, we have got Dragon Sergeant, and he's playing his Dragon Knight as a bunch of red come flying around this corner after him, 
Dragon Sergeant decides, all right, I am just going to hold my ground here. He goes into the Volatile Armor, and this is where things start to get really bad for the Red Group. He's tanking out the Soul Assault with his Volatile Armor here, which is so important that he uh, managed to get that Soul Assault tanked at that moment, and then he right away gets a nasty stun off on the player that hit him with the Soul Assault. He did finish one of the Red players right off the bat there, so he just goes for the Bash, and then right back to this enemy player here that's feeding those Lightning Heavy attacks. He finishes him with that Execute, and then moves back towards the player that's attempting to res. This guy's going for hard cast frag spam. Oh my gosh. Dragon Sergeant's going to punish him with that. He actually dodged that first off balance heavy attack, but a great connection on the second one to hit him uh, with that executioner following it up. The other red player jumps off the edge. Dragon Sergeant keeps up the pressure on this enemy. Dragon Knight gets him with a good stun there. The enemy player just holding block, trying to go for the heals. Dragon Sergeant just wearing him thin with the execute. And the other one runs away. Some beautiful open field 1vx. And of course, we have some bonus clip for you guys before we head out of here. And these are a few clips brought to you by Nice ESO on a very tanky Necromancer. And he's playing with his friend, getting some huge bombs on the group as he just pulls everybody into uh, a good position, I guess, to bomb them. And Nice ESO has also provided us with a build link to this guy if you guys want to check this build out too. Of course, a huge thank you and a massive shout out to everybody who sent those clips in. As always, we have links to everybody featured in today's episode down in the description below. So be sure to check out these fine ESO content creators. If you guys want to send in your own clips for the top five, or if you guys want to send in a build to be featured on the channel, you can send that to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. You can catch some live gameplay from me on Twitch, and if you guys want, you can give me a follow on Twitter. Be sure to check out ChristopherESO.com for written guides to all of my builds, as well as a hub for all of my ESO content. We are sponsored by What The Fast, they're a VPN for gamers, and they can give you better ping to your favorite games, free to try for the first month, link down below in the description for you guys. And then last but certainly not least, a massive thank you and a massive shout out to all of my patrons on Patreon. You guys help me keep the dream alive, so thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching today. As always, I hope that you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great night, everyone.